Welcome to the Indie Kid Lit Podcast. Join Marty Dumas and Elena Page on their quest to help children's and middle grade authors find the right audience and sell more books. Hi, and welcome to the Indie Kid Lit Podcast. I'm Marty Dumas. I'm Austin Bailey. I'm Elena Page. I'm Nathaniel Gold. I'm Yolanda King. And we have a special episode of the Indie Kid Lit podcast today, which, as you noticed, we are joined by three other um, Indie Kid Lit authors today. Um, So just um, a little introduction for each of our three special guests. We were joined, as you heard initially, by Austin J. Bailey, who's the author of the Mage Mother series. I said that right, didn't I, Austin? Mage Mother series. Love those you, books. I've read two totally of them already. Good. Awesome. So there's four in the series. I've read two, but I've got two to go. Um, and Nathaniel Gold, who's the author and illustrator of The Diary of Henry Chimpman, volume one to four. And thirdly, Yolanda King, who's the author of Curly Locks and the Three Panda Bears, Curly Locks and the Big Bad Hairbrush and the Storybird Dance series. And this is an Insta Freebie special indie podcast. It's the third in a small series that we did because Insta Freebie at the moment is so central to us indie authors in regards to building our email lists, which we're told is we must all do with vigor. Um, So the first episode that we aired was with Ashley Jura from Insta Freebie and she told us all about how to use the platform. And we also had an interview with Jay Philip Horn, who was amazing at setting up those promotions and helping authors to actually get their books in front of Insta Freebie viewers to get more subscribers. And today's podcast is all about, over to you, Marty. Today's podcast is all about authors us and our experiences with Insta Freebie. Um, I find that a lot of times hearing it coming from a person who's actually done it the way that I want to do it is really very helpful for me, particularly because a lot of times the way that you experience it, like how you get pulled into it, how do you start one up if you want to be able to do one? Can you just do it on your own? Like how much work was it? How much time did it take? Like I really want to hear that from a person who has done it before. And luckily, Elena and I know a bunch of people who have done it before, and they have graciously agreed to come in at what for some is an ungodly hour of the morning to uh, chat and share their experiences with everybody. So welcome everyone. So I will kick it off and just ask a question and people can just, we're gonna kind of free flow it from here, but I promise it won't take too much time and everybody has really valuable experience so that it will be really good information for us. But the first question that I have for everybody to kind of riff off of is how did you hear about Insta Freebie? How'd you get into it? I heard about it from all of you guys talking about it on Facebook. I was like, what are they talking? What are they doing? And then I went and checked it out and I'm glad I did. Same here. I heard, I heard about it uh, from the Facebook chat and mainly Elena talking about it. And I was like, Insta freebie. Okay, maybe I'll give this a try. Um, and then later, there was this big thing that happened. Yeah. Yeah, same thing. I, I just heard um, from various Facebook groups. I mean, every all these indie authors. And then I also... Um, was listening to Mark Dawson's podcast. And then ironically, in the beginning of the year, he was talking about list building. And he was talking about Insta Freebie at the same time. You guys started talking about doing an Insta Freebie promotion. And and to be 100% honest, I still wasn't sure what it was (laughs) when I signed on for it. That's funny. So I uh, heard heard about it from 
Elena, who just kept saying it over and over again. She was like, you've got to try Insta Freebie. You've got to try Insta Freebie. And I was like, I'm definitely going to try it. But this is number 1008 on the list of things that I have to look up and figure out what it is and how it's going to be helpful to me. And so it's coming. I'm coming to it. But then um, I think it was you, Austin, who were, oh, wait, maybe, no, no, no. Maybe it was a little bit before then. It was we were going to do, we wanted to do a winter book like giveaway yeah. we were like here are winter books that we're going to give away and we were trying to figure out some complicated system with having um another author build a page that could sort of direct people to the other people's pages and have the books download or maybe we need a centralized downloading system and then in pops elena again with you guys <laughs> i said <laughs> Why don't we try Insta Freebie? <laughs> and we were like, wait, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, it was that. What were think, you saying? Um, awesome? I think people get it, get get find it complicated because they're like, is it a system? Do are we joining something? Are we doing something on Insta Freebie? And it's it's essentially just like book funnel. You know, it delivers a book. Um, the difference is they also have a list of people, so it's kind of book funnel meets book bub kind of but you don't have to get try to get a, prom, a promo you just have to put your book and people are going to start to find it but ultimately you know the reason why i came into the group and said guys we have to do this is because putting your own book up on its own um will get you some and it will definitely get subscribers trickling in but it's the power of the group so essentially the minute somebody gets told hey there's a bunch of books that are free and the beauty and i know we've said this in other in the other podcasts but is that the person only has to subscribe to your mailing list not to the whole mailing list to get you know on your list so you know they wanted your book they didn't just want the bunch of them so it's quite i mean it's logical now that we know about it but it was quite yeah. ingenious it's a freebie to think about it and I think sometimes authors can't wrap their minds around it. They're sort of like, so what happens? What, what, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. That was a good point because that was uh, when we were talking about it on the Facebook group, I was, it was confusing before we got to the Insta freebie part. I was like, okay, I'm just going to hang out and I'll join the next group because I'm not really following this. But then once Insta freebie came up, as the uh, the way to deliver, I was like, okay, I can handle this, and I, I did love that um, it would be subscribing to my books because I was worried about people saying, um, why am I on this list and you're spamming me, and I do not like getting those kind of emails. So that was nice. Yeah, the giant list thing is, I am fearful of that. Even though I really do like the idea, I, I think that readers are readers, and so I'm never fearful that if I'm sharing my list with someone else that they're going to stop buying my books because people who buy books, I think buy books. So they'll buy lots of them over time. So that, that part of it is cool. But I think that as a person, I get a lot of emails and I would get tired of getting emails from a thousand different people who had been on the list, whether or not I was going to continue to buy their books. I'd be like, nope, unsubscribe, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. And so then that, the idea that the person doesn't have to get on every person's mailing list who's on the Insta Freebie promo is a big plus for me. But I think was still confusing for a long time because I didn't understand. I was like, everybody kept saying like that Insta Freebie was making it happen and I wasn't understanding. I was like, wait a minute, if it's a separate thing, if we each have to upload our books separately, if we have to build our own page to be able to put it out there, then how is Insta Freebie helping? And I know that Austin had to deal with a lot of this stuff. So I'm gonna put him on the spot. Austin, what's up? Um how how did that go? So so let me tell you first, uh back in the day when I didn't know what Insta Freebie was, I was really skeptical. Uh, because I had done King Sumo giveaways, and the giveaway always tanks, basically, or becomes more complicated when someone uploads my giveaway link to some free giveaway site, and thousands of people click on it who aren't interested in my books, and now I have their email. So I'm like, no, Insta, no free, Insta freebie, no. Uh, but that's <laughs> not what it is, right? It's just people who love books 
on the Insta freebie, which is great. Um, and it's been like the absolute opposite uh, that my freebie list has been um, really interactive, and I'm sure we'll get to that later. Um, but and now I've lost track of your original question. My original question was about you pulling together everybody into a cohesive unit that was a giveaway as opposed to each of us having just separately uploaded our books to Insta Freebie and just being individual people on Insta Freebie. Right. So there was a discussion about how to how to best do that as a as a group or joint giveaway, right? And we didn't really know what we were doing at the beginning. I was just finally like, okay, let's do this. You know, I'll I'll build the web page or whatever needs to happen. And then we all had this big discussion and figured it out. And thankfully, we all listened to Elena's <laughs> advice, which which worked really well. And we ended up just um, creating a big page. And I can screen share it for you here um, right. if you want. Look at that so fancy the pants. So all the people who are not on the YouTube feed. So are you seeing it? Yes. Um, so this is what the page looks like for everyone on YouTube. Um, and it actually, it got really big, right? Everyone out of our group kind of came out of the woodwork of who was really interested to do something like this because all of a sudden there are like 15, 16 of us. Um, but that's that's how it worked. And we just, and all, when you click these links, they all just go to, um, I'll pick on Nathaniel, they all just go to everyone's Insta Freebie page. So people look at the list. Um, and you notice it opened in a new tab, which I think is important. So the original thing is still here. People can just go back and click on more, uh, which I think happened. I don't know, Nathaniel. You, I put you. At, I noticed at the very bottom of the page. Did you get anything out of this? Oh my God! Yes. Cool. Yeah. I mean, we we shared. Um, all right. Let me, if you don't mind, if you don't indulge me, let me just step back for a second. So um, I got on Insta Freebie. For the purpose of this promotion, so I was on Insta Freebie for maybe a week or two prior to um, us doing the promotion. Um, as, soon, as soon as I got on Insta Freebie, um, I was getting about two signups a day. Um, the weekend we did the uh, promotion, um, I think I got a roughly 150 signups that that weekend most of them coming on that Saturday. And then uh, Insta Freebie actually promoted it a week or so later, and I got another 20 signups um, on that day. And then I still consistently got about two a day um, since the day I signed up. Um, so yeah, I was, I was on, the, on the bottom, so thank you for that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no problem. I, um, I was on, um, and I know that we, we all sort of, um, I think, we're sending emails uh, a few days after we all ran the promo and sent it out to our Facebook groups and, and, and email lists and so on and so forth. And I did notice that my number was a little lower than the rest, which could be because it was on the bottom. Um, but I think everybody's numbers, at least everyone who, who um, had uh, uh, sent emails to that group, uh, I think everybody was very successful um, in in this promotion. Um, in, in in fact, I actually recommended uh, in that emailing group, um, and with with nobody nobody answered me. I said this was so successful, we should consider doing this twice a year. We did it in February. We should think about doing it again in the summertime. I didn't see that one. Yeah, I didn't see that one either. So then that just tells me how many emails I get. I get two emails. I'm in all areas of my life. I love you so much, Nathaniel. Um, we, I think that's a great idea. I think for there are a couple of things that you just said that kind of like clicked for me. So one of them is that on the before the Insta freebie pushed our thing. So I guess I was always like, that seemed very mysterious. And Austin, you will have to tell us if you don't mind how you got Insta freebie to notice our promotion and say that they would promote it. Right. But I was like, is Insta freebie a list like book public? Are they mailing people out? Are they just putting it on their front page? Like, how do they know about it or whatever? I was trying to figure out how Insta freebie was any different from any of the other services in, in this way. But the interesting part for me is that the what you said, the day that Insta freebie pushed, you got 20 new signups. But the day that we all put it out there, you got like 150 
yeah. signups. That's for me, that says the power of readers, right? It's like mm -hmm. we have readers, we each have readers that are that we are in contact with. And yeah. those readers who are already interested in middle grade books and children's books, we brought them to each other. And so Insta Freebie maybe helped a little, but like from that. Insta Freebie helped a little, but we helped each other a lot. Like that, well, that's what that says to me. Yeah, Insta Freebie is a great platform because it builds in where to capture for you uh, those who who decide to um, download your book, right? So, so I, I at least my experience so far in the six weeks or so that I've been using it, um, people are finding it and grabbing it. But yes, that 150 that I got that weekend was our efforts, not necessarily with all due respect to Insta Freebie. But what makes Insta Freebie so great is without anything else, uh, they want the book, they sign up, and now they're on my mailing list. So it, it, it removes a step from, for instance, one of the first things I've done since um, you know, reading the, uh, participating in the 10K uh, training program, so on and so forth, um, is I put that call to action inside my book. Now that my book, my, my perma-free book, um, and just for the listeners, I guess, you know, um, I, I, my first series of books just came out uh, in January. So we're not talking, you know, I'm, I'm relatively new as far as, you know, this indie publishing thing. Um, but, my perma free book has been downloaded over 1500 times and the amount of signups that I've gotten from that call to action is extremely minimal compared to the amount that I've gotten now from Insta freebie. Um, so, so it, it, you know, for a reader would need to take, download my book off of Amazon, read through it and then decide to sign up and then sign up. Insta freebie takes all that away and gives me the email right away from my perma free book or any book I put up there. So, so that, uh, that's to me is the value in Insta freebie, not necessarily, um, their reach. Um, you know, I think that's why the group promotions, uh, you know, work so well. And, and I'll say something else. Um, another way I've been using Insta freebie, um, is, is it to get signups is actually through Twitter, which I hate Twitter, but you know, we live in a world with Twitter. So, um, what I, what I've been doing on Twitter is I've been finding people who, with hashtags of similar interest, uh, for me, whether it be, um, animals, environment, chimpanzees specifically, kids books, blah 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 and then i'll friend them and then those who are respectful friend me back and when they uh no it's not called friends follow whatever follow i follow them and then they follow me back and when they follow me back i shoot them a link to insta freebie i say thank you for following me please enjoy a free copy of my book the diary of henry chipman with the link to insta freebie and i've noticed that most of them get the link on Twitter and then a lot of them, probably more than 50% of them then drop off my list. But that's just a matter of me refining who it is, you know, the hashtags that I decide to use to find the people who would be interested in the book and stay on my list. But, but the, but the point is and that long drawn out thing. The point is, Insta freebie is a great vehicle um, to push out your book and get the instant um, the instant sign up. So, so it, 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 I'm no, I'm I'm actually pushing that now instead of my perma free on Amazon. Um, they're both free. It's the same book. I love, yeah, I love that. I love this experimentation because, because I can hear myself twice. Is that okay? uh, Fang has got to mute himself, I think. Okay. Um, I yeah, sorry, sorry guys. So um, I really that I love this kind of experimentation because the Insta freebie thing is really different than the 
a call to action, you can download another free book at the end of a of a free book kind of thing or at the end of a book kind of thing, because exactly what you just said, Nathaniel, where it's like they first have to read the book <laughs> and like the book enough to want to give you the email address. So then I'm wondering if there is a huge difference between the audiences. I don't know whether or not there is. I haven't asked anyone who's joined my Insta freebie list yet to buy anything, right? Um, so then I don't know how they will react to that. If a bunch of people will drop off at that time or, you know, I don't know how they'll react to that, but um, I, that seems like a great experiment to like keep an eye on, right? Like how, how do they react over time and does it compare? How does it compare to the people who are your back of book signups? Um, and if it's not, very much different than that seems to me to be an you know marketing answer or at least even if they are very different it's different layers right like it's different um uh pieces that you're bringing to the table you you wouldn't want to have only one kind um coming in uh, for strength right where you want to have a little bit of diversity and how people come to you so that you're able to keep growing your audience over time but um but yeah no that twitter thing that's that's pretty wicked like uh, i definitely wouldn't have thought of that one so marty i can respond to you a little bit about that um and and first i want to talk about some things nathaniel said before i forget um i think it's really interesting the day that insta freebie um marketed for us uh i did I did a little better than Nathaniel, right? Because my book's at the top of the page, I imagine. And I got like 90 instead of 20. But the interesting thing is that the, the weekend earlier when we all, when the traffic was coming just from us emailing our list, I did exactly the same as Nathaniel, about 150. Um, and I think that's cool. You know, what does that say? I don't know. Our, our readers kind of trust us. They're like, oh, these are their friends. Let's look at all the books on the page. I don't know. Um, but I think that's that's pretty cool. That's the power of Insta Freebie and the giveaway that we can both do equally well. Because that's usually a deal breaker, like top of the page, bottom of the page. And mine was bigger too. So. Um, but uh, so that's kind of cool to me. Um, yeah, no, that's that's cool. So are you guys cool with um with talking? Oh wait. Okay, so are, do other people have experiences? Has everybody emailed their the people who signed up yet? And what kind of responses are people getting? So I am, um, for the first time, you emailed my group, was it two days ago or a day ago? And no, maybe two days. And it was, I sent it out to, uh, so I ended up getting like 270 total for the December giveaway, 276 which is awesome for, that was amazing because I really wasn't focused on building my list. Um, and I was like, oh, we're going to be on this call. I should probably do something with this list. <laughs> so oh, I uh, quickly put together a thank you for uh, subscribing back in December. And here's a quick um, spring break book list for early reader chapter books. So I just sent like seven books that I thought would be a good recommendation. And Marty, your book was one of the seven books. Um, and my book was one of the seven books as well. But I feel like I noticed a little bump in my sales. And I can see my sales pretty easily. <laughs> but it felt like I saw like, you know, maybe three or four extra books that came out within the same time. And, um, out of the people that opened it, I would say a, not even a third, maybe 25% unsubscribed. It's only been like a 24 hours since it went out. But out of the ones who opened only like 25% have unsubscribed and no one wrote me back and said, why are you, uh, why are you promoting these other people's books to me? Yeah, that is really good because, okay, so at the time of recording, this episode is not going to air, what are we, like in almost May at this point, Elena? Yeah, May, probably May. Yeah. yeah, but in real life, we are in early March, right? So um, for a December book giveaway that ended, um, when, when did it end, like at Christmas? Um, mm -hmm. Or a couple days after maybe? And you're just, you just emailed them, let's say March 6th, <laughs> to be generous? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's 
you know, a solid uh, two and two, like two, almost three months later that you like got around to saying something to them and you only have like a few people who have unsubscribed that to me says something important. Um, do you, do you remember, I don't, you may not remember, do you remember what your open rates were? Uh, I don't remember what the open rates were. I could look it up really quickly and if yeah. there's still a few that there's still a ton that haven't been opened yet so mm -hmm. um, Yolanda while you're look, while you're looking up yours I'll just give you mine okay. yeah. um, really quick so so this is what I love about insta freebie my um, my open rates for my my normal lists are about 23 to 25 percent opens three and five percent clicks so my Insta Freebie readers group. Um, so I just started on Insta Freebie in January, and I have over 700 people on that now. Um, so my Insta Freebie readers group has 50% opens and 25% clicks, and I send I have sent them several emails. So that I mean that's way outperforming my other lists, which that's I think is really fantastic. really good. That's Wait, what, where that's did your what other I'm list come from? About. My other list awesome. came from um, Facebook advertising. It came from you know the the inside cover of my free book on Amazon. So I get about I get two to five, maybe sometimes mm -hmm. ten a day um, through that free book on Amazon, and Insta Freebie is outperforming that still. Um, so it's it's. It's pretty cool, and uh, but I do email them more um, than what you've been talking say, what's about. Your, tell us your automation sequence. That was gonna yes, be yeah, the automation <laughs> sequence. <laughs> <Yeah. one. laughs> so, um, twenty four hours after they join, pretty much Insta Freebie seems to pretty quickly integrate with Mailchimp, right? Which is what I use. So 24 hours after they join my list or get my book from Insta Freebie, I send them an email that says thanks um, for signing up for my book on Insta Freebie. I want to make sure you have a permanent link to it. So here it is. I'll send you another free book in a couple days. And then I give them the link for that free book on Book Funnel, just in case they didn't get it from Insta Freebie or something. And several people have said thanks for that. So um, that seems to be a good thing. And then a couple of days later, I send them my, um, my free novella. Um, cause so book one, now they're getting the second story in the series basically. Um, and then, um, a couple of weeks after that, I send them another email that, um, you know, it says, here's the rest of the series and it's for a box set, right? For paid books. Um, and I've also launched an audio book to them randomly when my audio book came out. But anyway, they've, they've been much more click happy than my other lists. So I think that's great. That's amazing. And how do they do on the audio books? And you're going to ask me that. I, 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 I don't know about the numbers. I, uh, I didn't look it up, but no, 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 I mean, not they, they click more they than click? anyone else. So yeah, I mean, 25% clicks versus, you know, 5% on my other lists. So I don't know how many of them bought it. Right. But, yeah. right. Quietly adds audiobook to automation <laughs> sequence for Insta Freebie, <laughs> right? Yeah. That's um, that's really good. I have audio. I have an audiobook offer in my automation sequence. I'm actually running out of code, so I'm probably not going to be able to do that for very long. But I have a free audiobook offer in the automation sequence for my Jaden Toussaint series, and. I'd say probably only about 10% of the people who come through that even say anything about it. Um, it like they, and, and less, fewer than that at, actually ask for a free code to be able to do it. Like they might just say something like, oh, that's really cool. I didn't know you had an audiobook and like let it go. <laughs> it's like, oh, but did you want one? Or are you just gonna go buy it? That's cool too. Um, but uh, that's, that's, that's really great rates like that's I should I should try that out what sort of automation sequences um do you use Nathaniel and um, Yolanda like how, how do you work the automation so I also use MailChimp um, very similar kind of situation what I do is so if when they sign up on insta freebie then um, that 
uh, kickstarts uh, an automation sequence of four emails. Um, so the four, the four emails, um, the first one comes 24 hours after they sign up, um, which just thanks them and lets them know that I'm not going to spam them and I'm, you know, I'm going to try to not send too many emails. And, um, and then uh, I give them another free book, uh, which is a book that I wrote in 2009, which is really not, uh, it's not a kid's book. It's, um, it's more of like a, it was a coffee table kind of art book. Um, and so this is just the e uh, version of that. Um, and then in the next three emails, which happen over the next two and a half weeks, uh, I just am giving them uh, a little bit about myself, telling them about what led me to read the book, uh, write the book, what my career has been like, showing them a little bit of social proof and talking about awards and some gallery shows that I've done and, and work that I've actually done with uh, chimps that are in sanctuary and um, sort of building that, kind of priming them to eventually want to buy stuff from me. Uh, and the last email says, I really hope you like the free copy I gave you and your chipman. And I send them with a link to review it. Um, and uh, so what I've seen so far from my list from Insta Freebie from that is I, I haven't actually s seen really uh, any reviews because I, I kind of watched them through the automated automation system and I knew what day all those that signed up on that weekend, like when they were going to get the email asking for the review, and I received, um, unfortunately, zero reviews from that. So I don't know how interactive my list, my list really is. Um, but this is all kind of new uh, to me as far as interacting with my lists and so on and so forth. So I don't. Um, but but I mean, they are opening my emails. Um, a few of them have emailed me and said, hey, I like the book. And, and um, outside of the automation system, I sent a, a, a short little video uh, promoting a giveaway that I'm, I'm currently doing. And I got people writing back saying they like the video. And they went to the YouTube video. And I see that they put likes on the video. So their people are, um, they're, they're interacting. Um, but I, I'm just not yet at the point where I've tried to sell them. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm hesitant to do that because I'm trying to really build a relationship. Um, sales can come later. I, I, I'm, I'm a little nervous to shoot everyone an email and say, hey, by the way, buy all this stuff now because it's available. And then it's like unsubscribe, 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 unsubscribe. So, um, but at this point, everyone on my list has gotten so much free stuff from me. Uh, <laughs> ultimately, through, through the automation, besides the perma-free book, I give two other books and a series of videos. And, and if you stay on my list for at least a month, I start running a, a second automation, which is video, little animated sort of video documentary style profiles on various characters in my book. So, so I'm just, yeah, so you could just stay on my list, pay nothing, and have, you know, a year's worth of entertainment. So. <laughs> okay, I have so, a cold-hearted rebuttal, Nathaniel. Um, um, you're much nicer than I am. So, I, I mean, I sell to them within two weeks, right? Because my thing is, if, if uh, getting sold to is going to scare them away, I don't want to pay for them <laughs> on my, to be on my MailChimp list. It's about five bucks per 100 subscribers or something. So do the math on that. That's too hard for me. But, um, you know, that that's where I'm at, right? So, like, it doesn't bother me when people unsubscribe. And not very many people do unsubscribe. Um, but uh, so that's kind of that's kind of my thought. And, and you'll get there, too, probably. You're very you're very new to this, right, since yeah. January. That's amazing, by the way, that you're, you're doing so much, being so kind of new kid on the block. But I've been doing this and getting, you know, very little results for like a year and a half. So now I'm like, sales. We need sales. Absolutely. And, you know, and I, in, the, oh, in, you the world, in the marketing world, it's it's like that that tripwire. You know that I think that's what it's called, where you you got to get them to the moment they commit and actually buy even something that costs a dollar from you, they've now engaged in a whole different relationship with you than in terms of just consuming your free content. So, you know, in, in the world of selling big ticket stuff, 
you know, like I sell in, in my other world, not in my kids' writing world, um, you know, I'll sell a few thousand dollar packages, you know, like high, high end, like not even $997, well, $4,999 packages. But I get them to buy the little $10 book first and then now they're my customer do you know like now they're like okay i bought this little thing from her so you know you you work them up and it isn't it, it sounds so kind of cold-hearted but you're not um you're not in marketing in my opinion you're, you're selling something to someone who was looking to buy what you had actually you're not trying to you know i'm not saying you need to read a meditation you know, like I'm saying, hey, you having trouble putting your kid to sleep? Here's my book. Do you know you're actually meeting them halfway? And I think that's where we struggle. We have to find how we click with that reader so that they actually are begging us to buy the book rather than us going, buy the book, buy the book. It's definitely harder in books than it is in big ticket workshops for some strange unknown reason. And yet it technically shouldn't be. I think it's just... We get really caught up in it, like a bit like Nathaniel said, we're so grateful someone's reading our book, you know, <laughs> that um, we're like, read everything here, take it all. <gasps> yeah, so don't, I think, don't like what you said, Austin, don't be frightened to do it as early as possible, actually. It's well, the more it's they're prepared. Their yeah, and the more they're so prepared that you will sell to them, the more they actually get, don't think it's as big a deal. Whereas if you turn up, on you know email number 10 going by the way i have something to sell you they they actually get, get a bit put off yeah i needed to hear yeah, this train, train like, them I while you're young. Needed to hear this exactly okay so train this is the thing that's, that makes me nervous also though about the so i'm very i actually only ever ask people to buy my books on my email list in when i have a new book coming out so i probably need to do, figure out like to do better with that because eventually I won't have new books coming out as often as I have them coming out now. That's the life plan. Like I can't have, you know, it can't, it can't be at this pace forever. But um, so that's a thing. But a thing that I'm nervous about that maybe we can also keep an eye on as a group is that if I'm constantly telling my list about free books, then they will be being trained to get free books and I want them to be trained to buy books. So when we did, so we did um, as a group, we did an Insta freebie group promo in December. And then we did another one. Um, when was the second one, Austin? It was, uh, was it in January? It was February. February. It was in February. Okay, so, um, so we did December and February. So for the first one, I, like sent it to my list. I said, I like framed it exactly. It was December. So I was like, this is gift giving time. This is our gift to you. And everything about it was like, here is a present for you for, for this time of year. And it was, it was great. It had great response. It had great clicks from um, my page there. And I also put it on my Facebook page. This time around, I was like, this is too soon. I can't say another gift. Like this is not, hey, here's another gift because then I feel like you're just gonna be waiting for another gift <laughs> and another gift. Um, so instead of, um, sent, I sent it out to only one because I have a bunch of lists because my MailChimp list looks crazy behind the scene. It's terribly disorganized behind the scenes, but you know, on the front end, it looks nice. Um, but uh, I sent it to just one list there. And then I was like, okay, I, I don't want to send it to all of these things. And instead I ran Facebook ads for our, <laughs> for our list instead, um, because I didn't want, I was nervous to keep giving stuff away. Is it, am I just being irrationally afraid? Or I mean, does anybody else thinking anything along those lines no maybe i think that makes sense it's for me it's like shopping at the gap i know there it's always going to go on sale eventually so why should i buy it at full <laughs> price um so I, I think that makes sense and i you know people building their expectations says the the person who's only mailed one time um but i i think that's wise for your list because they start to trust you and you're you're cultivating them like telling them this is what you can expect from me yeah so, so here i think at the end of the day it comes down to whether or not they're your fan 
So if they love your books, then they're going to buy your books anyway, mm -hmm. you know, and just the free stuff you send out, you know, free books from other authors or your friends, that's just kind of a perk of being on your list. Okay. Um, so I think it comes down to, you know, the relationship you have with them through your emails with them, the free books you're sending them that are your books that get them to fall in love with your stuff. And then you can sell them your stuff, I think, without a problem. I hope. Because now you're scaring me, so I hope I hope I'm right about Yeah, that. no, you should I want you to you to calm me, so that's good. You you calmed me down a little bit. I will say though that from our December giveaway, I we I had written a story essentially especially, right? So like I didn't market the story anywhere. I didn't tell my friends and family, which turns out to be a thing later on. I didn't tell my friends and family that this book was done and that it was out there and um, I didn't market it to my list. I It was on the Insta freebie thing that I sent out to my list when I sent everyone else's out to the list. And um, so that book had 405 downloads in our uh, promo period. But um, interestingly, I just looked it up just now and I put up a paperback copy of the book just because I, you know, paperbacks <laughs> and um, 78 paperback copies of that book have sold, which is interesting because I haven't told anybody about it. Obviously, 78 copies of a book is not, you know, it's been a couple months now. That's not stellar. But um, uh, I haven't told anyone about it except for through this Insta freebie thing. So there may be some buying that's happening there, which is cool. And then also, I think that Amazon um, maybe emailed people who have bought books for me in the past because a friend of mine like uh, texted me you know, fake angrily that I hadn't told her about. She was like, Amazon is recommending a book of yours that I have never heard of. And how is it that I was like, okay, first of all, you have to understand that Amazon, you know, their stuff is so tailored. Do not feel like there was some mass push of this book. It was probably sent to you. <laughs> You're probably the only person who received that message. But uh, but at any rate, uh, that's it's interesting. It has to have, the, the Insta Freebie is the only thing that did. So like that, it was only our group promo and Insta Freebie in December that was, that that book was in. And so the fact that it sold any paperback copies at all is maybe indicative that there might be some legs to the thing. Okay, I'd, so I'd we're- imagine, I'd imagine it would also be because you've, you know, you've sold a good amount of the other books. So you have, you know, fans that now go, what is she doing next? What is she doing next? <laughs> So you can't discount that money. <laughs> it's possible, but this book, the reason that I put this book and we're all, we're almost out of time. So I will, I'll try to make this as brief as possible, which is hard for me. But um, the reason that I wanted to do the Insta Freebie promo with that book is because it is the first fantasy book that I'll have put out in a long time. And it is the first in, a, it's not the first in a series, but it's set in a world of dragons that I will have several stories in, but that this, what it was kind of like, well, maybe Insta Freebie would help me find people who are interested in this kind of book so that when I bring out my quirky other books in this series, then uh, they will have maybe a potential starting audience for them. So then I, um, uh, I I wasn't expecting any follow on. They're so different from my other books that are out that I have fans for. I wasn't expecting any of those people to, to actually look for it. But okay, any parting words? We have a minute or so left. I have a question. Yeah. <laughs> I always have a little kid question at the end. Um, so my question is, um, like I love doing these giveaways and a bit like what Nathaniel was asking earlier, like why aren't we doing more of them? <laughs> so, um, you know, like I think it would be good if we created more opportunities. Like I know we have one coming out, which might be out by now when you, people are listening to this, um, which is centred around Hans Christian Andersen. Um, but, you know, like different themes, apart from the fact that it gets us to write like a story that we may not have written otherwise and adds, you know, just a variety of subscribers, not even for our the work we're famous for, but, you know, different stories. We're we kind of getting a lot of different readers. 
Um, so that's one thing. And the other thing is um, I wanted to ask Austin, like, did you find that there was a particular benefit from hosting it? Like, did it, like, is it beneficial for authors to put their hands up and say, hey, I'll, I'll host it on my web page? Like, did you find that, you know, it drew more people to your own page as a result, as a bit of a side benefit? Um, yeah, I'll, res I'll respond to that in a second. I know Nathaniel has to peace out soon because he has to go to his day job. Um, so <laughs> I don't know if we'll just stay on after he leaves, but no one get offended if Nathaniel just walks out. Um, so there, as far as the benefit goes, the only benefit I really found, and this sounds bad, but the only benefit I really found is that is the relationship I built with, um, with you guys, you know, uh, nice. because now I, I know you better and you guys are like, Oh, thanks Austin. This is great. But other than that, no, because it was several hours of work. Right. And so I was looking at, okay, I got two, 300 subscribers out of this. Was this worth it based on, on the workload? Cause it was, I don't know, maybe four or five hours of work. It's like, yeah, I don't know, but, but it was awesome. because it wasn't awesome. really 300 subscribers. It was, you know, how many of us, there was 15 of us and we all got two or 300 subscribers. So it was massive, right? So you can't think, you can't think of yourself. I think when you're hosting it, you have to, you have to pretend to be, to be really nice for a little bit and just kind of, <laughs> it's kind of fun though. You get to do something for someone else. Yeah. Um, so I guess that's a benefit in and of itself. So Austin, yeah. you want Facebook ads though. Do you have a Facebook pixel on your page? I do. Yeah. So here's what I thought that you would have done and that I was like, I should be clever enough to do this, but I have too many things going on and would, and would have the promo fall apart if I were in charge of it. But um, I was hoping that you had taken that Facebook tracking pixel and used it to make an audience of people who visited your website on Facebook that you then replicated in a Facebook lookalike audience from the time period that we had on the uh, promo going, that would then be a super warm audience, not warm, but a cold audience, but a tailored audience of people who were interested in our kind of books. Next time, next time, Marty. Next we'll time, we're totally gonna do that next time, <laughs> yeah. me and you, we're gonna do that yeah. now. Exactly. And speaking of next time, and I will say this and then I will run, um, but uh, I said this earlier, and I said it on the email that everyone ignored, but we should definitely repeat this, um, you know, maybe in June. Yeah. I, think yeah. yeah. Group, I mean, we're all doing other promotions as well, but this group, um, you know, I've been in a few, and, and by far this, is, this has been the, the most successful. I think that we should just continue. Um, we should try this exact same promotion. I mean, I, I'll leave it up to the group. We can add more people, whatever. Um, but we should definitely try this again because, you know, now it's like compounded, right? So we had, we had, let me see if I got a camera right. We had this audience that we, um, told about this promo and now that audience has grown to here, right? So now we can tell this audience, plus keep in mind that not everyone reads the, the emails that come through, right? So we can give those who, who, who didn't get our email. I can stop doing this now. They can, those who didn't get our emails the first time, plus those who are new to our list since. Um, so in reality, um, if I got 150 the first time, I should get at least 151 more. So, um, <laughs> So, 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 you know, I, and, and in the Facebook forum and stuff, and we'll continue to talk, I'm going to keep, I'm going to, I'm going to push that idea. Um, you know, and Austin, thank you so much for hosting it. Um, and, and, uh, the Facebook pixel thing, smart. And with that, I will say thank you for having me on your podcast. And I'm sorry right, to be, thank you for uh, joining to, us. To, to, to eat and run as they say, but, uh, I need to, I need to go cause I need to pay my bills. So I will see you soon. Thank you very much. Thanks. thanks, Nathaniel. Thank you. And he's gone, just like that. Right, Yolanda, right. I want you to say something before we leave. Tell us what you plan to do with Insta Freebie. Big plans for you for the year ahead. Oh, wow. Okay, so. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yolanda is renovating a house. <laughs> that is really where her focus is right now. Um, <laughs> But narrating I, her life for the third person. <laughs> but I will come back to Insta Freebie. I have two books that I'm working on, and I'm, I'm hopefully maybe I'll join in with the the June book um, promotion. Um, so that's what I I'd like to do that to grow the list. But I have picture books. I don't know how well I have some chapter books, and then I have picture books coming out. And I don't know how well Insta Freebie will do for a picture book especially with the formatting. That's that's a concern of mine. Yeah, so I say that we try, right? Like, maybe maybe we come back and do an update later on with how that works out. But like InstaFreebie does have file size limits that BookFunnel has workarounds for, but um, we can, I bet that we could pull something together where maybe we are having people sign up through InstaFreebie, but where they can download the full book if they want it through BookFunnels so that they could still have the whole thing for free and and see how that works out. Or we could f figure something out. I bet that we could figure something out, but we should definitely try it because honestly, we're the people, right? Like we're the ones yeah. who are out there trying things and hopefully the people who are listening are also out there trying and they will add their information into the pot so that we can have more data always more data it makes it better so speaking of more data i know um marty you asked me a question earlier that i neglected to answer about um how insta freebie came to sponsor our giveaway yes. um and that is i know i'm making your podcast go long now. Um, but that is, I just, I just found their basic support email on their website and just sent them an email that said, Hey, you know, do who it may concern. I didn't know if anyone would actually read it. Um, I heard somewhere that you guys like to sponsor big group giveaways. I got together with 16 other, 15 other authors and we're doing a middle grade giveaway. Here's the link to the page. And it was all set up by then. Um, and here's. And that's all I said. And then it was Ashley, actually, who was on your show, who emailed me back, I think, and said, great, we need an image to promote it with. And of course, I gave her I gave her kind of a lousy image, unfortunately. I tried to give her a better one later. I don't think she got the email. But uh, so that, anyway, not my best move. But so they did, that, and that's how they ended up promoting it, just, as, just a simple email that wow. Ashley answered. That's super straightforward. Right. Um, and the last thing I wanted to say, I've been Sorry, thinking about. I was going to say, you can also put a hashtag Insta Freebie. That's the other thing. The more they see hashtag Insta Freebie going out on Twitter and everywhere, they start to pick up that there's a promotion going on. So back to you. I just wanted to get that in there. Yeah, no, that's good. I, I, I don't do anything on Twitter, and I know I should. So that's I'm going to be working on that. Um, I'm afraid of hashtags. So. <laughs> The other, the other thing I wanted to talk about was, I think, my takeaway from this, the genius of Insta Freebie is that everyone on there knows when they sign up for your book, they know they're going to be marketed to because the only reason you're on Insta Freebie is to give your email address in exchange for a book. So they know, you know you're going to be emailing them and they're okay with that idea or they have great confidence in their ability to unsubscribe. Either way. Um, I've been, uh, I've been seeing them, you know, do a lot better with my, with my emails than all my other subscribers. So I think that's, that's what it comes down to is that they're, they're primed for it because in Insta Freebie, that's what happens. You get free stuff, but you also get sold to them. Good point. Yeah, great point. Oh, I have a, a takeaway also, um, from Insta Freebie. I was, uh, wondering, you know, how are these other authors, their audience, how are they going to respond to this book? Like, you know, my my books are primarily children of color. And so I wondered, well, are they going to even click on this? But there's power in a group. And that's the biggest takeaway. You may expose uh, an audience to a book that they never maybe would have thought to look at. And then again, to Austin's point, they're on Insta, Insta Freebie. So they're there for books. Uh, so that's that's a big help. Right. And then also we are sending, I think, I, again, the power of the group is my big takeaway here because we are sending the people like uh, Insta Freebie did send traffic to our page and we are super grateful for it. And we would love to have 
continue to have that kind of support in the future. Thank you, Ashley. But um, also, we are sending people to InstaFreebie as well. Like when they come to the page that Austin built, um, it looks nice, but that's what they're seeing. That's the storefront. That's so people like they're not going there for InstaFreebie. But then when they click through and have a pleasant experience with InstaFreebie, then then they are aware of InstaFreebie. So we're also driving traffic to InstaFreebie even as they are giving traffic to us. So it's um, that win-win situation going on. And so hopefully in the future, as it continues to grow, and as we send more traffic their way, then when we have things that are not a part of group promos, there are more people on there who are shopping for children's and middle grade books of, of all different kinds, which would be cool. Awesome. Good. I think that's a wrap. All right. So the people who are left on here, um, just because, um, is there a place where people should get in touch with you if they want to be able to learn more about you and the books that you write? Let's do Austin first. <laughs> <laughs> now, my website is austinjbailey.com. Um, so you can go there and get the first two books for free on the homepage. And of course, sign up for my email list. So that's right. So. <laughs> of course, obviously. And Yolanda? And mine is Tangled Press, like Tangled and then press.com. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. And we'll make sure that Nathaniel's website information is also in the show notes, as we will also have the clickable links to you guys' websites in the show notes. And where can people find those show notes, Elena? It is at www.indiekidlitpodcast.com and it should be at the top of your bar by now as one of your favorites. Absolutely. And thank you to all the people, the legions of people who subscribe to us on YouTube and who have started the, the slow march um to subscribe to us on itunes as well we really appreciate it as also we would appreciate reviews if you have a chance to leave us a review on itunes or stitcher so we will see you guys next time thank you so much for joining us <laughs>